them are dead. Twenty-six includes Slam. Yeah. Bacons. He's alive. So the question is time. I mean, no one's ever lasted over 30 hours under prison fast. Now, the government's got that ice road open. Safety supervisor guy, he's even managed to uh, secure transpo. Jim Goldenrod. Jim Goldenrod believes 25 to the is going to work on. Cleaned up the tanks a little bit, mostly the other one. This one, I got a scraggly patch of aromatica mini here, but I pulled most of it out. Pulled most of the Lago Grande out and put a small patch pack. So, just gonna browse over everything here in this tank. And, oh, we got babies. Because I moved all the endlers to this tank. So, without a beta, there's no real predator for them so I guess the babies can explore and grow well, quick look for the farm tank <clears throat> okay so I have down all the top stuff and I mean it's not super different why well, I mean it's different to me from here to here with plants I just stuffed some junk in there basically just took a clump of this, clump of that, clump of that. Mostly my collected plants. But yeah, it's a lot different, so. <clears throat> Unless it gets super grown up again. I'm not gonna have uh, any immerse growth out of it for a while. The immerse growth came from my laziness and because I like when the plants get to the top. So I'm trying to get the, oh, without my pinky, trying to get the front angle. That's what it looks like on the front. I'm trying to hold my camera down low enough. So this is on the pro setting on my camera that I've been using lately. And I put it on the pro setting and then just left everything else. It's like, it's, it's like it's on pro, but everything is set to auto. So I don't know what what's so different about it. it makes things a little darker and a little less colorful on camera but it doesn't blind out most colors and it does help to show pinks and reds a little more because um, when I was trying to film before you couldn't see certain things like that very well a little look back there I still got my patch of those are um <clears throat> uh bacopa salzmani the purple one that new purple strain that's what those are in there you know if i ever stop trimming them so they can grow up more then we'll actually see them they're part of the skate but you can barely see them right, right there but I mean, you can't really see them. They're not really, they're not popping out because they're too small. Every time a couple of them get super long, I chop them and replant them in there to get more. So just waiting for that to fill in and I'll have a little purple stripe right there. The bright ground Rotalas were a lot more bright pink before, kind of a pinkish orange. Now they're a little more dull, but it still is good. Overall, I think it's because um, I started dosing uh, mixing my own dry fruits and pumping them in myself and I have the MPK mix that I have I guess I have higher nitrate than I used to my nitrates are probably through the roof with that mix that I made and uh, I probably have sufficient nitrates because of all the fish and everything <clears throat> I also bought some 
So it's Epsom salt, that's my magnesium. I got the bags of the, the potassium, the nitrate, and the um, phosphate. This is trace elements mixed. I mixed it in this for a 500 liter container and then I just poured what I wanted into the tropical bottle for easy dosing. And the phosphate bottle that I had bought emptied out and that's where I put my MP, my NPK mix. So I've been dosing that. Little scale, the grand scale for weighing out the powders onto the scale into a cup and mixing them into the bottle. And oh, there was something else I was gonna say about that, but but yeah, I've been dosing those. Adding those to the tank, but yeah. So my nitrates are higher. This tank it doesn't matter so much. Don't have Ritalas or anything. I mean I got Ritalas, but they're gonna be colorful no matter what these guys like florida there's the bacopa salzmani purple some of these other stems in here and florida doing okay that views ghost that i have is all right one leaf is getting a hole in it hopefully that doesn't spread but yeah the, those ritalas i'm not sure if they're gonna color up a lot more than that or stay that way I had my <clears throat> I had my light setting different before I had it set a little more like 100% um, red 90% blue and then very pretty low on the green and if you go low on the green it makes it less white light so it was more of a pink purplish look and I cranked up the green also so I'm almost I'm near max setting on this Hero's Light. And if I can do pretty well and keep a balance here, I probably will push this light to the back, take this light and put it next to it and double it. And then just turn the intensity down so I'll have coverage front to back. That's just an idea I'm playing with for the future though. Because I mean, obviously this light is needed for this tank to grow stuff like this so the little zeros sb red you can see the little baby sprouting out the front left side and the front right the back left and right also have little baby sprouting out hard to see on camera because they're small but you can pull those little babies off and plant them the baby on the back is a lot bigger you can kind of see the blade between there Pull that off and plant it and grow another one. But um, I haven't pulled it off. I'm just letting it see how big I can let it get on its own before I pull that. See those little babies hanging out? <laughs> little baby antlers. So, uh, that's about it. But big, big, big trim for this tank. I'm trying to like lower down to get a good from the front. So, looks a little more uniform. Looks a little more aquarium gardens. A little less home tank. <laughs> and uh, those tops. That plant is a giant red plant. Like the leaves under it are. That's my collected Ludwigia. Kind of like a Grandolosa but different. But you can see the top green part was the part that was immersed out of the top so I might have to clip those off otherwise this just gonna have to readapt all over again those are my collected uh, those are my collected um, Ludwigia Reppens and then I have uh, some collected Palustris in front of it so, that's my update uh, yeah, doing pretty good. It's dry fur so far doing good. Haven't had no algae blasting off yet.